Hi there and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use ShapeSparks Material Picker extension. Check out the final result. Here, I am able to easily switch materials on both the wall and the floor. Now, let me show you how to set this up. First, head over to the Interactivity tab. Click the plus button and select the Material Picker extension. You can give it a name to stay organized. First, click the plus button to choose the material that will be replaced by the extension. Simply click on the material in the viewer to select it. Next, click another plus button to choose the materials that will be available to pick from in the extension. The next step is setting up the trigger. To place the trigger, simply click on the spot where you want it in your scene. You can also adjust its position and size directly in the editor. Keep in mind, if you try to apply the material picker to an object without a UV map, it won't work properly. The texture from the materials won't be visible, and only an averaged color from the material's texture will appear. To fix this, you'll need to UV map the object in the 3D program you use to prepare the model. That's it. Good luck exploring ShapeSpark.